，哎呦，大公车啊，七里黄河大公车，啊 ，Hello there， so in my last video, the channel update, I told you guys that I wanted to start doing devlogs in this channel, and this is the first one, which means I have a special announcement. I recently started working on a new game, my first Steam game to be exact, and this devlog series will serve to document the development process of the game. So, if you're interested in that, or if maybe you just like these kind of videos, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you get updated when my videos go live. Or else. Anyway, this game has been in the back of my mind for quite some time now, and I'm really, really happy that I finally started working on it. I'm always thinking about the mechanics, the story, the characters, etc. Now, I might be thinking, mechanics, story, characters? Are you making an RPG game? Sorry to disappoint you, but no, I'm not. I'm actually making a 2D beat 'em up game, or a 2D brawler if you prefer it that way. I call it Project E. This game won't focus too much on the story, but having a story is definitely gonna help make the characters and their powers feel consistent. This game is inspired by a hidden gem from the 90s called Little Fighter 2. This is probably one of my favorite games from back in the day. I still download it from time to time so that I can get bombarded with nostalgia. Here's how the gameplay works. You have three buttons. Attack, Jump, Defend. Every character can perform these three simple actions. But if you input some special inputs, the character will do some really cool abilities like throwing a fireball, making a nice sword that can freeze your opponent. And these two can even fuse. Not to like about this game. Now, my game will be sort of similar, but not really. Instead of special inputs to perform your special abilities, you will have a dedicated special button, from which you can just input a direction and a special button to perform a special ability. You will also have a light and heavy attack, as well as a defend and a parry. These are just some examples of the mechanics that I'd like to implement in this game. Please note that these game design concepts can change as the project evolves. With these ideas in mind, I started to plan this project. I'm using Milanote to do this, and this is my first time using it, and I immediately fell in love with it. In Milanote, I wrote down the basic character mechanics, a little bit of the story, and some character design ideas. After that, I gathered and organized a playlist of tutorials that I might need for this project. I know, I make tutorials, and I watch tutorials? What? Anyway, after that, I created a new Unity project and uploaded it to GitHub. Actually, it's the same project I made in my platformer tutorials, I just copied it. And the first thing I did was take the 2D movement script that we have been creating throughout the platformer tutorials, and I broke it down into five different scripts. Player main, player input, player movement, player animation, and player collision. At first, I was scared to do this, because I didn't want to break the script. But, it was such a simple process, and this will help me in the long run with this project, as it will allow me to have everything organized, as well as making the debugging process much easier. If you plan on doing this as well, check out this video by Lost Relic Games, because this is the tutorial that I followed, link in the description. After that, I followed another tutorial by Lost Relic Games, titled Escape Animator Hell, aka Make a Better Animation System, and I have to say, this one wasn't easy. I got it to work in the beginning, but the more I changed, the buggier it became. And the time spent on this process was about 40% refactoring code, 50% bug fixing. And you're probably wondering, where's the 10%? That time was spent wondering if this is worth it or not. But in the end, it was. And that's all I have for you guys today. I wanted to make a simple melee system to show you guys in this video as well, but I know that that will come with its own bugs and headaches, so I'd rather leave that for the next devlog. I'm happy that I have this project set up and ready to go. Now I can finally start with the actual development of this game. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Tell me down in the comments if Project E is something that you'd be interested in playing. Also, please go follow me on Twitter at TechProgram as I'm gonna try my best to be active on the platform from now on. Try! I'm gonna try my best. Can't make any promises. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more game dev related content. I mean, come on! And 
I probably shouldn't tell you twice to hit that bell notification, am I right? And from now on, embrace the weirdness. <laughs>